Hello people, welcome back to Beauty Jam. Today I'm going to show you some of the things I bought for my holiday. I just want to point this out. This is things I bought for holiday, not off holiday, okay? This isn't what I bought from Cape Verde. This is what I bought for Cape Verde, okay? So I thought I would just share some of the things that I bought, right? So, first thing I bought, Off Wish, if you don't know where that is, I'll link you. It's a website kind of where you can get cheap stuff. It's great. Um, so I bought these. I have worn them once because I'm trying to break them in before I go. But they're just these kind of gold, metallic gold sandals. Now the reason that I bought these is because the sandals I took last year, I have my flip flops, which are fine. But I had these sandals and they really rubbed me. And to the point where I was just wearing my flip flops all holiday, um, which was great. But I had to go and see David Getter in them and they were rubbing me so bad. So yeah, so I bought some new sandals. These were, well, you have to pay shipping as well. So the, I think these were like eight pounds something like that I'll have to leave a link but you do have to pay shipping on top but it's still quite cheap compared to what you get on like eBay or Amazon so yeah so I bought these sandals and I like them you could get them in silver as well but I chose the gold also from Wish I bought these no shoes shoes so basically what these are is it's a thing that you put on the bottom of your foot so you're not wearing shoes but you technically are wearing shoes um, they say only one use. I've never used them because I'm waiting till I go away, obviously. But basically you just peel the back off and you stick them on the bottom of your foot. Whether it's going to hurt to take them off, I don't know. Whether they will stay on, I don't know. So um, yeah, but one thing I will say is they are fabric, so they are not waterproof. And um, yeah, but I'm interested because what I wanted to see was when I tan my back, um, last year when I was tanning my back, my, the bottoms of my feet started to burn, you know, to the point where I had to put my flip flops on and wearing flip flops on your front when you're on a sunbed is not very comfortable. So I thought these would be great to kind of just for that one day, just put them on the bottoms of my feet so that when I'm lying on my front, and the sun's on my back they're not going to get my feet at all because I've got these on you know so that's what I'm mainly using them for I'm not using them for walking around I'm using them for tanning purposes basically but um yeah because the last thing I want to do is burn the bottom of my feet okay I burnt my butt last year but I'd rather burn that than my bottoms of my feet okay so I'm going to try them out I'll let you know when I come back whether they worked or not you know um so yeah the next thing I bought from Home Bargains is a brand new brush. I didn't buy it just because it's copper, although that did kind of attract me to it, but I did actually need a new brush. Now I always use brushes like this because of my hair. It's so luggy, honestly. Is this making it static? It is, isn't it? But yeah, I always use brushes like this, the round brushes, because combs and things like that just can't get through this, right? So I've always used like the wire brushes and some of them have been dreadful and they've pulled and maybe it's just my hair. But um, this one is actually soft, like on the hair. I tried it, not in the shop, but like when I got back and tried it and it's actually not bad. It's just nice and soft and I like it. Makes my hair go static though, look at this. Makes my hair go really static. So that's one thing I will say about it and this is also thermal so you can use it with the hairdryer which I appreciate thank you very much because the amount of brushes that I have melted <laughs> with the hairdryer is unreal you wouldn't believe it but um, yeah the, my current one upstairs half of this half here is like all melted because of the hairdryer but there's nothing I can do because my hair doesn't dry Ugh. so um, I bought a new brush for holiday. I say it's for holiday but it's technically for life but I'm, ta I'm using it for holiday. I'm, I'm only using it for holiday as of right now. So technically I bought it for holiday. Oh. Another thing I bought is these beach babe beach pool towel clips. Now the reason that I bought these is because 
Okay. I don't... When you reserve places, I don't mind, right? Um, you put the clips on and it keeps your towel in place so the wind doesn't blow it away or anything like that. But I'm not too fussed about reserving places. My issue is when I'm sitting on the sunbed and the towel keeps moving. Like if I'm sitting a certain way and then I'll just move because I'm uncomfortable, the towel flipping moves and I hate that. So I, I want to clip it on the back so that when I sit on it, it stays there. Do you know what I mean? So that's mainly why I'm using it. I just, I don't like... Um, I don't like the top moving. Well, sometimes if the wind blows and it like falls down, I hate it. So I'm just, I'm going to use these to clip the towel in place so that I don't, you know, have the top falling and moving and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, and they clip just like that onto the thing. So yeah, I like them. The next thing I bought, well, the next two things I bought kind of go together. This is Expel Mosquito and Insect Repellent. Now I'm going to Cape Verde, so there is mosquitoes there. I have looked on the NHS website at where the hot spots are, if you like, and it's the main city. I'm not going to the main city, I'm going to like the other end. So they say it's not as bad there, but there still is the chance. So I've got the bands, these were 89p from Home Bargains. Um, and you just wrap it around your wrist or your ankle um, and you get two the reason that you get two is because they only last 120 hours which I figured was about four or five days so yeah I think it's more five but I'm going for seven so that's why you get two but it also says on the back to use other things you know use other forms of protection don't just use the bands so I also bought the spray from the same company and um, this is just just like a spray bottle that you spray on. Because um, I thought about getting the cream, but then I thought, I'm going to have to be rubbing sun cream in, then my tanning oil in, then my mosquito. Like, I can't be doing the cream, so I bought the, the spray. But what I found interesting was, on the back, it says apply and allow to fully dry before applying your sunscreen. So you have to spray this before sunscreen, right? You, you don't do it after. I thought you did it after, but you don't. You apply it before, which I found interesting. I found that interesting. Because I thought the sunscreen would then block. Like this. Does it does it work like that? I don't think it does, does it? But you know, that's what I was thinking. So I have to apply this and allow to dry before the sunscreen. So, um, yeah. Reapply every four hours. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Um... But yeah, it's for it's for good though, you know, to protect yourself against that because the last thing you want is to get bitten and then possibly get a disease. So if you go in somewhere that there's mosquitoes, home bargains do some good stuff. These are only 89p. I think this was like one pound fifty or seventy, something like that. So um, yeah, and I'd say this is probably enough for one person. But if you have a family, like perhaps get three sprays, you know, and and a, you one per person basically if you go for a week for these so um yeah that is cool 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 the next thing i bought is a new travel toothbrush let me tell you why i went last year and i had a red one and i loved my wisdom red travel toothbrush right um but it got all like gunky at the bottom and i think what happened was i put oh okay i put my sun cream in because it was only a small one I put it in my toiletry bag which I shouldn't have done and I think on the plane on the way back it had opened and then the sun cream had kind of dried and got all stuck in these holes at the bottom so I think that's what it was um, there wasn't that much sun cream left in it but I think that's what had happened because there was sun cream on other things as well and I didn't think about it until I came to it this year and I picked my toothbrush up and because I usually just replace the head not the case and I picked it up and I was like oh I'll get a new toothbrush and then I looked at the bottom and it was just all like manky horrible stuff and I was like no let me just get a new one so I got in in purple for Spyro <laughs> it's a Spyro toothbrush guys no it's not um, now I picked purple, I did pick purple because of Spyro, but I also picked purple because they didn't have a red one and the other one was either yellow or blue. Now the blue was nice but it was quite bright 
So I decided to go with this nice pastel purple. And because it's Spyro's purple. I pick things because of that, guys, on this. Um, the next thing I bought is plasters. Now the reason that I bought these is purely because of the circle ones. I have like a mole on my back and I have to cover it when I go in the sun. So if you have a mole, cover your moles when you go in the sun, okay? Because you, you, you know, it's important that you do. So um, I always get these circle ones because they're just the right size to cover a mole. So I get the circle ones and I think the see-through ones are waterproof as well, which kind of helps, but I think you only get so many. So I buy the pack and I usually have to buy another pack um, before I finish this one because yeah, I need the circle ones. I wish that they would just do a pack of circle plasters. Do they exist? Because I was looking and they were not there. Like, just a pack of circle plasters. That's all I want. That's all I want, okay? Um, but yeah, you get 64 plasters in there. And you know what? Even the other ones, they come in handy. They do come in handy, plasters do. You never know when you're going to need one. So, yeah. So I bought them. Um... Another thing I bought is for the plane. Now, the plane that we're going on is a Dreamliner. Uh, we're flying from Manchester instead of Birmingham. I don't mind so much, but it, it just means extra travelling, but I don't mind so much that it's from Manchester, but the issue that I've got is it's a six hour flight, and I know that it would probably only be five hours if we flew from Birmingham, because it's a bit further down the country, right? So. I'm imagining, I don't know how planes work. I'm imagining that it would only be five hours if we flew from Birmingham, right? But it's six hours from Manchester. So, we're traveling in the day there, but when we come back, we're traveling through the night. So I want my earplugs to put in so I can go to sleep. And it says, um, perfect for planes, yeah, traveling. So I'm gonna take this in the case so that they can see, you know, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using it for purely because I want some sleep <laughs> um, And I also have a travel pillow, but I haven't got that yet. It's still on the way So I'll just put a screenshot. This is my travel pillow that I bought and it's on its way Currently it says it will be here on the 13th of May and I'm supposed to be leaving on the 19th So I'm hoping that it's here before I go um, But yeah, so travel pillow earplugs. I'm set. I'm set for that destination, let me tell you that, which will be Manchester because it'll be on the way back. I also bought two more bikinis, reason being, my old bikinis don't fit me. You know why? Because when I was 18, I decided to trick myself into thinking that I'm a size flipping 10, when I am definitely not a size flipping 10, okay? So, um, yeah, I get irritated with myself. I pick up bikinis and I'm like, why did I buy a size 10? You know? So, um, yeah, but I think when I'm in the shop, I decide to trick myself into thinking, yeah, yeah, I'll fit into a 10. You're not gonna fit into a 10. But, when I bought the ones offline, they don't come in numbers, they come in small, medium, large, or extra large. Yeah, so I'm, I'm dreading them coming, to be honest, but I got the extra large in hopes that they will fit. Um, and if they don't, it's not an extra large, is it? You know? So, um... There come, I'll put screenshots so you can see the bikinis that I bought. Um, yeah, there you go. I also bought from Holland and Barrett, good old Holland and Barrett, some tan tablets. Now, you know last year I tried the gummies, didn't flipping work. But, I thought from Holland and Barrett they might work because Holland and Barrett are a good brand, aren't they? They're known to be a good, reliable brand that you can trust, you know. They've been years, you know, so... I bought some tan tablets and I'm going to try these out I'm going to see if they work. Um, you have to take two a day, one with breakfast and one with dinner. So I'm quite looking forward to doing this. And um, yeah, there you go. Eh. Two more things guys. I also bought some Australian Glow. Australian Gold, not Glow. Australian Gold spray gel sunscreen now i googled the best sunscreen right and these were number two number one 
I forgot what it was, but it was like £70 and I was thinking, are you joking? I'm not paying £70 for a bottle of sunscreen. But these were quite cheapish. I got it for £13 off Amazon. Um, this is the 15, you can get it in 30 and however many facts you want. But I always usually stick with 15. Um, yeah, and the, re the reviews on Amazon and on other websites that I'd seen were really good for this. Um, some people haven't had a good experience, but you're gonna get that with every product. But the majority, you know, I think it had like 9.9 .9 good reviews, you know, and it was only like 0 0.1 bad. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I decided to try it out. I'm gonna try it this year when I go and we'll see how it works, you know, whether it works or not. It says it has a bronzer in it. So you might automatically get the tan when you use this than you would one without the bronzer. I was gonna get the one without the bronzer, but then I thought I'm gonna try the bronzer and I'll see if it works. See, this is what I'm all about. I'm all about seeing if things work, right? So I'll let you know whether the, whether this works and whether the bronzer works. So we'll see. As long as I'm protected from the sun, I'm not too fussed, but I did, it did pique my, my attention. I thought I'm gonna try it. So um, yeah, this might be the sunscreen that I go with every time. You know where you, you feel like you're on the verge of finding something that you're gonna use for the rest of your life? That's the feeling I get with this, but we'll see, because it might not work, but we'll see. I'm sorry, I've got two more things now. I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, <laughs> this next thing I bought, Veet, right? This is one of the things that I'm gonna do for monthly favorites, I think. Hair removal cream has been kind of a necessity for holiday for me because it lasts longer than just shaving. But I found this one and this one is in shower. So I have had this before, right? But I didn't use it in the shower. I just used it as a normal hair removal cream and then took it off how you do a normal hair removal cream and then I went in the shower after. I didn't actually use it in the shower, but this time I'm gonna try and use it actually in the shower. And again, it's Veet. I always go with Veet, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I do have a backup hair removal cream in case this doesn't work or in case this doesn't work as I want it to. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, we're gonna see. So I bought that. And the last thing, I bought a book of Sudoku. I love Sudoku. Um, I do it in the paper and stuff, and I do actually really like it, but sometimes they can be a bit difficult, but I do like doing them. I like figuring them out. So we'll see, but I am interested in seeing how these work on the planes and stuff because you get bored, especially six hours. I mean, I'm not gonna do Sudoku for six hours, but it might take up like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, you know? So we'll see, we'll see. But um, yeah, I picked Sudoku. You could get crossword, you could get word search, so there's a dot to dot one as well. Um, I was considering the word search, but then word searches get boring to me. You know, after I've done like one or two, I get bored of them, so I'm kind of interested in Sudoku because Sudoku doesn't get boring to me because I'm thinking. Do you know what I mean? Um, crosswords I can't do. I can't do crosswords, okay? And dot to dots again just seems a bit boring. Once you've done one or two, it's just like, okay, whatever. But Sudoku, I really like because you can focus on a puzzle and you're figuring it out and you're using your brain and I like it. So, um, yeah, I got this for the plane. This was like 79p as well from Home Bargains again. Home bargains are doing it, man. Um, so yeah, that's everything I bought for holiday. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. Um, how long have I been recording? Oh, my laptop's gone off. 21 minutes, so we're good. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos from me. Um, yeah, I'll let you know about some of these products if they work or not when I come back. Um, I haven't gone yet. I might be on holiday now. I don't know, I haven't looked at the schedule, but um, we'll see. I will let you know about some of these products though, whether they work or not. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.